All right, so most of the, uh, I guess, fabrication or, or construction of the Jetpack uh, briefcase is done. As you can see, it all closes up. Um, the only thing that will reveal something weird is going on are these screws here. Those are nuts. And I'm probably going to paint them gold. Um, like I said, I'm gonna, I have some burgundy pinstriping that I'm going to do on it to make it look a little bit more old. And I'm going to try to make a template so that I can do the pinstriping around an HCS logo. But let me go ahead and show you the best I can with one hand and film it the other. <sighs> this is so much fun. So that it opens up. I added um, this. So this is the, so I added the yellow and black tape in there. I just think it will need add a neat little dimension. I still have to take the fabric home and do my best to sew that. But this is on one of those hinges and I have a, a spring to kind of keep it from flopping over. Although if I stand up, the weight will keep it level anyway, but the spring looks kind of cool. And it's just uh, some chrome plastic um, LED headlights and brake lights that uh, these are the ones that I bought thinking I could use them on a vehicle and didn't read how itty bitty small they are. Now the wings um, that hinge drops it down and then the wings can expand out so it would be really cool if I could have this motorized but you know all in good time and so the wings expand out and uh, yeah this I'm probably going to print a cool label and make it so that it can go around here um, I gotta cut that bolt and then next will be to cut here and here here and here and I'm gonna have a, a brown leather belts um, I'm going to go and try to find two that match. Um, these are just two I had in my stash. And <clears throat> basically they're going to, they're going to buckle on the inside. I'll have like a, I'll sew a pin in there so that it can't go through. And so I'll have the, um, it adjusted the right way. Um, and, or maybe I'll just leave them like they are, buckle it on the inside when I have the right height, you know, or, or length, and then just put them on. Um, and then when I close it all up, I can use the buckles, the belts to, you know, hold the uh, top part and the fabric in. But all in all, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm very nervous of, with what the TSA and uh, um, English security at the airport might think or say, but I think once I open it up and show them that it's just a uh, goofy, <laughs> um, or actually not goofy, it's, it's a freaking cool as hell. Um, suitcase for the suitcase challenge. Um, yeah, then they're probably gonna make jokes about flying or whatever. So I hope everybody else is having as much fun making their suitcase or getting their suitcase ready for a splendid day out in England. And uh, the event um, Visions of Futures Past and Hampton History Museum, both weekends, both World Suitcase Challenge uh, titles will be awarded, and, uh, and then those winners will be en route, uh, or rather in line for the World Championship in England. Oh, <laughs> the World Championship in Teslacon.